Okay guys, a quick video tonight. Kentucky takes care of Louisville, as expected. No surprise there. Uh, Louisville wins one game last year and they go crazy and act like they own the world. They act like, oh, we're the best thing ever, whatever. Uh, Cal improves to 6-1. and one, Takes care of Louisville. Very overrated team. It's been proven they played two games against two good teams. They lost both of them. Cal improves to 6-1, and one, of course. And um, it is what it is, folks. Louisville, as I've said all year, we was going to win this game. There was ever, never any doubt in my mind. Never any doubt at all. I just knew we was going to win it. I knew we had the better players. I knew we had the better coach, better fans. Now, Louisville, they will always be the second best program in Kentucky. They will always be the stepchild. When you think of college basketball, you think of Kentucky. That's what you think of when you say college basketball in Kentucky. The first thing that comes to your mind is Kentucky Wildcats. It is what it is. Uh, Louisville, very bad fan base, very bad fans, uh, calling Kentucky players bad names, calling the Harrison Twins a joke. Just like I said in my last video, you will know who the Harrison Twins are. You will know who Julius Randle is. You will know who James Young is. Just like I said, so now you know who they are. Those are the players that dominated you. This game will not even be in a seven, as close as seven points if Randall had not. He never even played the second half. He cramped up. Just imagine if he played. It would have been over a 20-point win for Kentucky. This game would not even been as close as it would. Seven, even though we dominated pretty much, it would have been even. It just been uglier. So you're lucky that Randall did not even play the second half because, God, I, I would hate to have seen it. So... So you say the little bit of face on that, but realistically, people's going to look back and say, Louisville got dominated when Randall didn't even play. And that's what happened. This shows how weak you are. You know, you're lucky you have such an easy schedule. You're lucky you really do. So anyway, Kentucky, we will continue to improve and get better. And you can go play your little weak-ass competition and pretend you're a relevant team. And then when you get to the tournament, you will get beat the first weekend. You heard it from me first in this video. So, playing them cupcakes ain't going to help you any. Play a real schedule like Kentucky. Now look, how, look at our non-conference schedule. we got to play Florida twice. Probably an Elite Eight team. we got to play them twice in our conference. we still got Texas A&M. we still got many, a many hard game left. What have you got left? Eastern Michigan. So like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, and go Big Blue. I love that disco ball. It's probably the second best thing I've ever bought besides my wife. Yeah. I would go wife, disco ball. Yeah. Best thing. Oh yeah, one more thing I would just like to say this uh, before I go. I would like to say, um, how does it feel to be the stepchild? How does it feel to be second best? How does it feel to be the child that no one likes? How does it feel? So go back, Rick Patino. Go back to doing what you do best, coming down your leg. Shane Bahannon, go back to what you do best doing drugs, getting suspended. Um, what more can you say? The example of how to not live your life. Be a Louisville fan and act like Louisville's players and coach. That's the, that's the example of how not to live your life. So just look at the Louisville program and pretty much do the opposite of everything they do and you'll have a good life. Like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, Go Big Blue, the greatest college basketball program of all time.